let's take a look at what I've done in the meantime. With uh, right control F, we go back to the full size here, full screen. I've been experimenting a little bit with these things here. So as you can see, you have this pop up now where you can see the CPU, the RAM storage and so on. I have also added the mist. It is mist here in Belgium and all this weather forecasting. And then this here is the download speeds and the upload speeds. This, I don't know, I think it's, it came together with this one. Not sure what this is, but this is the radio. And when you stop it and change it, you get this nice notification up, up here when the song changes. Where, how, what? Um, well, I went to the tweak tool and you can install different kind of extensions. And cover flow is one as well, but I need to have something else open to show you that. So let's open Firefox so it's already open. Tweaked also as this one as well. And let's switch. So this is the cover flow. Nice. And then the glassy gnome is also quite nice. So whether you want the glassy gnome or not, it's uh, too bad they don't have the settings menu here for glassy gnome. So um, yeah, we can't change that. And the Gravatar, I've added that as well, meaning now I have this little photo coming from Gravatar.com. And Internet Radio is this little button here. The net speed is this one there, this one. Open Weather is this one. And System Monitor is the one on top there. So I'm still not sure which one is D, probably this one is the Gravatar. Question is, do I need this G there? I don't think I can get rid of it. So that's that. Um, let's say, uh, see, see that you can check out extensions. So go down here, get more extensions. I can only admire the way they, they incorporate this extension from the website. And it's uh, maybe also a good idea for the Linux Mint um, community to do it this way. So I went for popularity and also for downloads. And then you just check what you like or might like and click further down the road to see what it does. And there are all pictures with it and to see if you want to have it or not. In the case of the transparency, I just looked up here, transparent, and then found this glassy gnome you just have to click it or double click it and then put the slider from off to on and it's installed so it's that easy so have fun with the extensions and have fun with gnome